What's good, y'all? It's your boy Woke back with another video today. Y'all, Shakur Stevenson, man. Last video, I tried to let him know, brother, you're hating. And now you didn't got leapfrogged. It is what it is, Shakur. But before we get into the full video today, like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. So Shakur has been leapfrogged by Lomachenko in three of the four sanctioning bodies, bro. You see what hating on Devin Haney does for you, Shakur? Do you see what you did to yourself, great brother? All you had to do was get in that ring, say, yeah, it was a close fight, but damn that, I'm up next. Me and Devin up next for the undisputed strap but guess what Shakur did he got inside the damn ring said nah Loma won that nah it should be me and Loma and guess what the the white power structure did the business of boxing the boxing Illuminati guess what they guess how they repaid Shakur naive ass you know what, Shakur? You're right. It should be Loma and you. Loma did get robbed. We're gonna put Loma right in front of you, brother. Thanks for letting us know. Thanks for making it easy on your on our parts, brother. Appreciate you. Back of the line, boy. That's what they did to damn Shakur. And Shakur has been silent. You see, ladies and gentlemen, it's no pleasing them. It's no trying to get your back scratched and kiss ass for them because they're going to always look out for themselves. See, now that Loma has leaped Shakur, you don't see no damn Loma fans taking up for Shakur for being leaped. They silent. They, well, mm, well you, you, you did say that Loma should have won, right? You did say it should be you and Loma. And that's what you get, Shakur. All that shoe shining, all that cooning, all that tap dancing, all that amounted to nothing. Now, Shakur, you're not viewed as a top three lightweight in the world right now. Yeah, by fans and by people that know boxing, sure, but by the sanctioning bodies, it's Devin, Tank, and Loma. You are on the back burner still. You're that very, very talented guy that's very, very dangerous that doesn't bring in any money. That's what you are, Shakur. So guess what you're going to do, Shakur? You're going to go fight Jermaine Ortiz, a top 10 lightweight, but probably around the 8 to 10 range. A guy that Loma already beat. The guy that Devin Haney just beat in Loma, that Loma just beat in Ortiz. You're going to probably fight him. Oh, yeah, I guess you go fight maybe a guy like um, Zapata or something like that. If he takes the fight. Because you know you're not getting a Pitbull Cruz fight, right? Because, you know, Pitbull Cruz is going to probably fight Tank. If Devin and Tank don't fight. And you know you're probably not going to fight George Cambosis. Because George Cambosis actually wants to fight Loma. And Loma doesn't want to rematch Devin. Because he probably knows that's another loss. So he's probably going to fight George Cambosis in Australia. Because they kind of already been talking about that. So Shakur, you're probably going to get screwed in this whole situation. They're probably going to just ice you out. Because you don't have enough for them to risk a loss against you. Because you're very good. Might be the best. I think you're number two behind Devin Haney. But guess what? You did it to yourself, great half-brother. Great half-brother Shakur, keep your mouth shut. If you kiss ass one time for him, they don't give you respect as a man. They're going to put you into the place of a servant, a slave. You're going to have to keep kissing ass. Coons don't become leaders revolutionaries activists people that stand for something get respect from them they become a threat to them but see when you try to be a friend of your enemy 
why would your enemy respect you? I'm your enemy, yet you try to befriend me. Are you stupid? Are you ignorant? Well, since you're stupid, I'll use you and discard of you. And that's what they do to Shakur. Because every time Shakur opens his mouth, he still doesn't get it. And I guess Shakur must think he's a Puerto Rican. He must not think he's actually a black fighter. Because every time this half Negro opens his damn mouth, he's saying something to make them feel better or to go with status quo. And they, oh, wow, they'll use the quote. Oh, Shakur said that Tyson Fury can beat Muhammad Ali. Yet the same Fury fans give you no props. The same media that used your quote about Tyson Fury take that to also steal fighter of the year from you and give it to Tyson Fury, the guy that you bigged up. Because he secured Stevenson wanted to be fighter of the year a year or two ago. But guess what? He said Fury, Fury's unbeatable. He could, he's better than Ali. He could beat Ali. And guess what they did? You know what, Shakur? He is that great, huh? Thanks for letting us know. We're gonna give him fighter of the year. Shakur, when you reaffirm their positions that they already think they use and abuse you, they 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 pump and dump you. Thanks for the quote. We're gonna use your half black ass to push our agenda and then discard of you and give you no support, ticket sales, or any clout. The fans don't like you, Shakur. The same fans you're pandering to don't give a damn about your half, brother. Until you understand that, you will continue to be second and third place. So what's gonna probably happen, Shakur, I'll let you know, but I'm gonna let you know what happens, right? Devin and Tank probably gonna fight, make a whole lot of money, make big money while you still aren't on pay-per-view, going into year 27 of your career, or your life rather. They gonna make a whole lot of money, they gonna probably do a rematch, make a whole lot of money again. Loma gonna probably fight Cambosis or go to 130 become undisputed which Bob said you didn't have he didn't have money for you to become undisputed but he'll probably pay for it Loma to be undisputed at 130 and you're gonna probably go fight Ortiz Jermaine Ortiz you're gonna probably end up getting a pay to fight you may end up fighting uh Raymond Muratala your big fight is gonna be with Frank Martin probably not on pay-per-view or, or under or the the co-main event of a pay-per-view you ain't gonna get the main one on pay-per-view yep that's probably what's gonna happen with you and then you know what's gonna probably happen Devin is gonna probably beat tank is outbox him right and a rematch you know go either way probably Devin again in my opinion just due to the volume and you know what Devin's gonna do Devin's gonna move up to 140 you gonna get a Tiafimo fight. You gonna get a Regis fight. You gonna get a Ryan fight. Make a whole lot more money. And then what you gonna be stuck left trying to do is fight and accomplish all the things Devin Haney has already done in his career. You gonna try to become 135 undisputed, but people really won't care that much because Devin already did it. You gonna try to beat Lomachenko, but what does it matter? Lomachenko's already lost to Devin. You gonna try to get a tank fight? But hell, if Devin do what I think he gonna do to Tank, Tank ain't gonna fight you. He can go back to his green card print. You gonna probably try to rematch Ryan. You're too dangerous, Shakur. And if you do get it and you do beat Tank, what happens? Hmm, Devin already did it. So you have, in essence, screwed yourself, effed over yourself, Shakur, because you're trying to pander to people that don't like you. You do not get it, and until you do, you're gonna keep running into this issue, brother. But best of luck to you have, brother. Hopefully you learn your lesson to keep your mouth shut, be about your business, and stop thinking these people are your friends, Shakur. If you're gonna lean into you being Puerto Rican, embrace it all. Grow your hair out even more. Grow full, go full as curl. Stay out the sun, get lighter, embrace it fully, start listening to Bad Bunny or something.
you can't be a black Puerto Rican. Either you're black or you're Puerto Rican. Well, family, that's all for me. Devin and Tank coming up. We might get the fight we want, family. Peace and love. More videos dropping soon. Like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all, family. Shalom. Salute.